back to this week's video and today we'll be doing a cheap watercolor review or challenge I wouldn't call it the cheap art supply challenge because the only cheap art supply I'm using are these watercolor and these are the liquid mark watercolors the 16 pens 16 colors right here and I think I paid 150 or two dollars for them and when I went to the store, originally I was looking for the Crayolas um, watercolors because that's the one everybody knows or like remembers when they were a younger kid, child. And so I've used these a little bit just to like get hang of them. And these, you need to like, I, oh, oh um, yeah, you need to reactivate them pretty like with some water before you start using them or you're not going to get any color payoff. That's what I've noticed with them. And as you saw what happened there, I guess they're too wet from me using them this morning. And a quick question. Do any of you guys use these brushes that comes on? Like, these are the worst brushes I've ever seen or used. Like the plastic bristles are so bad, really bad. So I'm just leaving them in there because for the video. And but before I start, I'm gonna go over what supplies I'll be using today. And I guess let's get started. Or, you know, go over the supplies. So I'm using the Canton's um, watercolor paper. I don't really use arches or anything at the moment because I'm kind of poor. And plus, this watercolor paper works. This is what I use for most of my paints, or all of them, except the, uh, the smaller ones. I use the B paper watercolor paper because. I like those and they're already cut in the smallest shape. And just like let's put it in frame. A little sharpener, Prisma color, color erased, carmen red. Um Robert Simons S85 Round 8 or Sapphire. I don't know what's the name of it really. A size 8 though. I think, um, I'm not really sure of these. I'll probably put them in the description below if I find out what this one's, the brand and all that stuff is called. I think this one's a size five though. Washi tape, I just got this one from, thank you, shout out to Raquel for giving, giving it to me for Christmas. And I'll be using the Prismacolor um, 12 set, but it's not all the original colors inside. I swapped them out with some of my um, favorite colors like the peaches and all that stuff. Oh, my bad for the noise. And some water because it's a watercolor painting. All right, so so these are the swatches of the Liquid Mark watercolors, the 16 set. This one's white. I can barely tell. Yeah, but as you can tell by looking at the watercolors, they're not the most vibrant, but. What do you kind of expect from a really cheap art supplies and for our kids? But my, my favorite color from all of them it has to be this blue. This one's really similar to this blue. And these purples are like really close too, so. Yeah, and this pink or whatever color this is. It's kind of light, you know. And then I try making it like do a flat wash, which didn't really go out that well. And I do voiceover. Let's get started with the sketching and then we'll do the painting process afterwards. So this is gonna be fast forward. So let's get started.
I got the idea from for this sketch by me just looking up at the sky one day at school and I saw I was in my IBR class and I saw a bunch of seagulls and then a friend of mine said that the seagulls were waiting for me and then I thought it was kind of funny and then so this morning I was just sketching and then I was like you know what I'm gonna draw some person doing like the bird wings with the hands as you can tell right here and I don't know I just decided like to draw them the way I get my ideas are kind of weird or not weird it's just kind of basic I just think about something and just start drawing whatever comes up in my head because not everything has to be or like um it's kind of hard to explain not everything has to be all superficial or like sometimes you're just drawing for the fun of it not because you're trying to put the emotion sometimes you just want it to be nice and peaceful without needing all that other part other stuff according to art yeah and that's how i see it so like not everything has to have a dramatic meaning this one i guess you can give it a meaning if you see one but and this painting is kind of different than what i usually do i don't really draw that many backgrounds i'm more of a portrait artist well that's only because i that's all i know how to do at the moment and i'm trying to expand what i can do if that makes sense <laughs> I'm just trying to get better, man. Yeah, like, have you guys ever done anything and expected to learn something, but it just never happened? Because I thought I was taking this art class, so then I came in thinking I was, I'm gonna go learn how to do more um, background pieces, like landscapes and all that. And then they ended up saying that they don't have requirements of landscapes and all that. And I was like, ooh, all right, not what I was expecting or thinking what happened I stayed in it anyways cuz it's art class so any, any excuse to draw for during school is a good thing you know so right now I think I'm done with the sketching process and I think I'm gonna go get started with the background I mean with the painting but yeah so let me get all that all those things ready so, you can use um, this plastic part as a little palette or like to hold your paints or mixing tray. Yeah, that's what it's called as a mixing tray. Add some water. I'm just trying to make it loosen up so I could do the, uh, the wash in the background of the sunset. I know, pretty basic, but that's what I felt like would look good in the painting. And hopefully, I think it's gonna come out good, just that it'll look better with some nicer watercolors. And I was thinking, if you guys would like me to do later on, or like next week's video, I could do the same painting with some higher quality and more expensive watercolors. And let's see how they both compare to each other. And I don't know what else to say. Um, you know, like you guys could put your opinion, which one, like does money really matter? Or you could be, doing like you know you could use cheap art supplies instead i think the more exp there there's a reason why the colors are more expensive and the watercolors are more expensive and it's because of the light fast ratings and they're obviously more professional so if you're selling like these are pretty nice for like if you're a craft person or you're just watercolor is your hobby but if you're gonna be selling and all that arty stuff then you should um well, I recommend for you to, um, what's that word called? Try to, ah, Jesus, I can't speak today. Mm. Try to get the higher quality ones. Like, oh, it's a better investment because the people, if you're selling them like the real copy, not prints, the paintings will last longer because they're not going to get um, faded out by the sun. Like these would most likely haven't tried them yet i'll probably make a review a video but later on about how it'll be or how it will um how it gets you know and then i'll probably show you like the difference so i guess let's get started with
Okay, so I just added the some water so I can do some nice um, washes. You have to make sure that it's an even layer because if you have the puddles, it won't really come out that good looking, nice. And you just have to make sure the water stays high, moist or, mm, I think that was a better word choice. Dry? I mean, not dry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, wet. Yeah. It might look a little bit streaky now, but as you can tell from now, from how it looks right now, it doesn't really have that, the pigment or the color isn't that nice. The orange is pretty good though. Maybe I put too much water, but it's okay. I'm not gonna die from that. I think the yellow is pretty good. Like a nice lemon yellow. I'm not sure, they don't really have names on this side. It's just the colors. And I wasn't really expecting it to have two water, um, two purples, to be honest. I was really surprised by that. See, like, it doesn't come out that right. Like, if anything, yeah, like back again. I already know it's not. It's for kids, but kids could get better things. Like you could buy the meat and watercolor set for twenty bucks, and they're pretty cheap for a kid. Yeah, it's a bit steep, I guess, but it's better. The kids are gonna have a better experience using those. Plus, they're not chunky, and these I haven't really used them that much to see if they're chunky or not, but. The medium ones aren't chalky at all, so I recommend you guys to buy that set. Just that, personally, I like using the Kiritaki um, Gansai set because how vibrant the colors are and beautiful they come out. But not everyone's gonna be, isn't not everyone's gonna enjoy those because how they're not like traditional like Western watercolors, as you heard by everyone else say. They have a different like gum or like holder. But I think they're really nice. Like, I recommend those. I use those in my sketches, per art pieces that I want more of a oomph in them. Cause they're really nice. I recommend you guys to try them. And like, you don't even need to buy like, the full set, but those watercolors you can't really mix too much or they're gonna come out really muddy. And on these, I think these get money as well, but they're like, not as bad. And plus it's all preference, you know? Like maybe these look really nice too, but for me, they're okay. So far, these are coming out much nicer than my, my my first version of this painting or sketch. Yeah, these are coming out a lot more vibrant because I let them wet, let them I rewetted them early before I use them. And plus, you don't really get that much paint because I think the green one, the dark green's already going away and I haven't really used it that much. I know this part's probably boring because you just can't see me mixing the colors, but I'm just doing the base colors for the back for the wash. Hmm. Yeah, like that. Well, I'm kind of done with this part for now, and I'll be back when it's all dried out so I can start doing the next layers, all right? So I'll be using a detail brush. Can you even see if I paint that? Let's move it forward. I'll be using a detail brush to get this little palm tree. Wow, as you can tell, this is black with some purple. <laughs> yeah, with this, with these watercolors, you're probably gonna need to do a lot of layers, cause as you can tell, what I, what I'm doing right now, the color is not the best, you know. But you can make anything work as long as you know the basics or. You're pretty good with this certain medium. But there's, that doesn't mean like, no matter what, I mean, Jesus, it means that you could always get better, I guess. <laughs> or you don't really need to 
paid like so much money for whole wine watercolors or the schminke because you can still create anything you want with um cheaper brands but if anything i recommend the crayolas more than liquitex because or i oh mean not liquitex <laughs> that's a real company um the liquid mark watercolors because crayola is obviously the best cheap art supply you could ever get or use so that's why i'm recommending those over these and if you have some extra money you could obviously get the mead and watercolors or the sakura koi's because those are pretty nice now for the palm tree in the background oh wait let me get some more and i'm not using that little brush that comes with this set because it's not good at all. It's just scratchy and like they could do better brushes. I forgot to press record and <laughs> um, I didn't really miss that much I just I'm just coloring in the foreground and as you can see again is the bad color the bad color like look at this black it's like what is that you know Yeah, <laughs> um, it's at its awkward stage. Let's not done. Obviously, because as you can tell, it's not done. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna start adding the clouds. I think I'm gonna use a blue for that. Um, actually, not. Let's go add more blue to the mix. I use red and blue in the sky. Not to make purple, but like it's just red and blue. No. <laughs> yeah, just separately, not mixed. Yeah, only if I could see the clouds better than the sketch. But the watercolor kind of blocked it out. <laughs> yeah, like I can't see that much anymore. Hmm. Now it's like guessing. There's one here. These are the bottom parts of the clouds. Yeah, I'm not, 
the best at doing clouds, but I just really enjoyed drawing them. Maybe I should watch a Skillshare class or something on it. It's better knowing it than being sorry. Better safe than sorry.
really enjoying the process of painting. And another point of another part of painting is to enjoy the process, you know? Like sometimes if your paints don't make you feel good or like you're not like they're giving you a hard time. And just stop using them or take your time off them. And once you're ready, you can come back and start painting again. And I hate when I get that feeling, but that's the only thing you can really do or just suck it up and finish the painting. Like I said before, the Kurtagi Gansai are my favorite and sometimes when the painting's not coming out the way I want it with my other watercolors, I just end up going back with the Karatakis and just add more things. I'm just doing some rim lights to show off that the sun's hitting the other side. Cause that's what I need to get better at. I need to do I need to get better with lighting because my lighting skills are kind of bad. Not to sugarcoat or anything, it's just really bad. I could do better. Oh yeah, and before I forget, thank you guys for watching my videos. I found out a couple weeks ago that I got 50 subscribers and I was in, I thought that was crazy. I was like 50 people are watching me paint. Or not 50 people, 50 people subscribed to me to watch me paint. And I thought that was really amazing to see something I enjoy doing, getting some people's attention. It's just nice to know because I'm not that type, time of the year where college is everything that people are talking about or you do the other route, no college, but I kind of want to go to college, but I still don't know what I really want to do. All I know, I want to do art, but you know, a lot of people don't think you could actually get a living with that or get that much money but the point is to do something that I enjoy everything's about the money like I rather enjoy my life doing things I like to do yeah <laughs> like if you agree with me just kidding sorry hopefully these this comes out looking good For the orange, oh, you can't see that. Oh, that's a lot, oof. Let's add some more up here, or yeah, there. I really love drawing sunsets or these type of colors because I don't know it's kind of peaceful like I think what you get looking at this painting is like some peace and serenity because that's what we all need like people stress out way too much I'm kind of going everywhere with this video like the topics but so what's in my mind and we all enjoy a chill video don't we can we just a chill a calm video Let's add some orange rim light too, just to give it some like pizzazz. Keep the colors going, you know. The X is like, oh, it's like the treasure. Yeah. It's like here is the treasure for good paintings. I'm just kidding. <laughs> can't over, can't go overboard either. Not the best painter. Add some darker water because we all need more. Well, so it could look better with the waters. I mean, Jesus can't talk again. Because this is the forefront and there's not where the, there's no light hitting it. So we have to make it darker. But I don't want to add more black to the water because to make the water look really 
dirty. And I want it to want I want the water to look really nice and clean. Like when you go to a, like have you seen those pictures of Australia and all that stuff? Looks really nice. Like, I guess Hagiton Beach looks nice, but mm, boring. Cancelled. I'm just kidding. Um do I need to add liner? I think I kinda like how it looks without liner. Hmm, not sure. This is the hard part. When you're painting, you don't know when to stop or like you just keep on adding more detail. Which is a good thing and a bad thing. Because obviously detail is necessary. But in specific styles. Because you can't just be putting detail on everything. Because it's unnecessary. Let's just add some eyebrows. Closed eyes. I guess we just add some detail in the water, like the hair's flowing. Because it's obviously her hair's in the water. Or maybe it's not that obvious. Well, that's a big forehead, let's make it smaller. Oh, that's still pretty big, but it's okay. Not everybody has small heads. Wait, <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't know. I kind of don't like it, but it's in the lighter now because how cheap these colors are. That's some more water so we could, oh snap, that's a lot of water. Oh no. No need to panic. <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my bad for using that. If you guys don't believe in him, it's okay. Oh no, now that's gonna bother me. See, there's a, Again, with the too much detail is bad. We could always fix it, I guess. Add more black, yeah. Make the. See. Nothing to worry about. Like what Bob Ross says. Just kidding, I don't know any quotes from him. Because I've only seen his thing like twice. Shout out to Bob Ross. I wish I could do landscapes like him. I think he's only done one video where he painted a person and it was a cowboy. I think he was in um Ray Dizzle's music video. Yeah. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. And that's what she said. But don't quote her on that either, because we don't know for sure. And I think I'm done. Well, this is, I'll give you guys a better look or a better shot of this and maybe I could add some highlights in the water and that's it and I would do that the, the, after the video so so this is yeah. the finished look like I said I like the blue and red in the clouds or it's more of a magenta I don't know it makes it look really nice and the sunlight going through I'm probably gonna add some more orange dots in the water to see like the reflection of the light yeah and if you guys I'll show you a little look of the sketch I did first this morning. As you can tell, I didn't sketch out the first one. I just went straight forward. And I really like the finished look of it. Looks really nice. Oh, I forgot to put my art signature. Let me just put it in really quick. I'll probably go over it with the color pencil because it's bleeding. So it's probably still wet, or most likely it's wet. And, um, hmm, I keep on saying, um, thanks guys for watching and come back next week. I'm gonna start posting more, re uh, more, um, what's that word? Regular, regular, uh, regular? Go on, Jesus, that sounds so. Hmm. I'll just, <laughs> I'll be posting for reels this time almost every weekend and. You guys should follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. I'll probably put some um, alerts about me recording or something about my channel. And hope you guys have a good weekend. Happy Friday and bye.